Now our procedure generator is near complete. We can't just add a very large number in the last index of the for loop to generate a lot of ground tiles at once, as it won't make the game be an infinite runner like in Temple Run. Instead we need to make the ground tile generate on its own and to do that we are going to use a box collision to create a new ground tile every time our player character passes through it. So what we need to do is go back to the ground tile and in here click on the add components and type box collision. I am going to call it box collider and then what I am going to do is I am going to move this slightly behind where the arrow is located so I am going to put it somewhere around here and then we are going to scale it and like this we now have a box collider that is going to check whenever our player passes through it and create a new ground tile exactly at the same position where the arrow is located at so what we need to do over here is go over to the details panel scroll all the way down to events and in here in between the UI over here the details panel you can see this icon popping up you can actually move this to the side so you can actually see the contents behind it so sometimes some of the important information or some of the some of the names of these uh, buttons or other checkboxes over here might be hidden behind this UI you can just move it to the side with this little icon and then what we need to do is select on component begin overlap so click on this green plus icon over here and it will create this node for us and from here drag off from other actor and type cast to third person character from here we're going to check whether the game mode is the same as the third person game mode that we currently using so over here type get game mode and from here drag off from its output and search for third person game mode connect the execution the execution pins all right so from here i'm going to go over to the third person game mode and we have made this function over here in the previous part i'm going to select it and then press ctrl x to cut it and then i'm going to go over to the functions under my blueprint and in functions i'm going to press this plus button then i'm going to type add ground tile and in here i'm going to paste this logic over here and then connect it now go back to the even graph and drag this function that we have created that is the add ground tile and connect the loop body to the function add ground tile and then we are going to compile this first and go back to ground tile from here drag out and type the function add ground tile and then drag the the data output pin and connect it to target and then from here i am going to add delay so that we can delete the created ground tiles after a certain duration of let's say 5 seconds so after the delay node i am going to drag the execution pin and then type destroy act compile it and then run the game i am going to press f8 to exit out of game mode Now you can notice that the platforms are being generated automatically and the created platforms get deleted after around 5 seconds. And this can go on on and on and this is how our infinite generator will be working. And that's it for this video. In the next part of this tutorial series. We are going to add the logic needed to create variations to the procedural generator. Currently our procedural generator only creates ground tiles and like in temple run we want to add some variations. So we will be trying to add these in the next video. And that's it. Thanks for watching. See you later.